Okay, so today we're going to start with a little faster warm up so we have uh, more time on the ball. This combination is going to be a bit longer than the previous one. Your palms are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. And we round our torso and breathe deep. Try to keep your hands straight. And switch direction. And round your back. Breathe out. And breathe in. Start to round your back from your tailbone and breathe out. Lean a bit forward. And breathe in. And one more time, breathe out. And breathe in. Okay, neutral position. And we go to our down dog and walk here. Stretch your hamstrings, warm our shoulders, pull your shoulder blades together and your shoulders away from your ears. And while you're doing this, try to tuck in your ribs like this, so your lower back rounds a bit, okay? And in, in, if in this position, your toes, your feet, are not fully to the floor. You should bend your knees a little bit so you can go between your biceps more deeper in your arms like this. If your legs are straight and feet are in the floor, you can stay here. And we go to our plank and breathe out to dog. And let's keep it moving. And three, two, one, stay in your plank and our shoulders. Hands are straight, pelvis is tucked in. Good. And we're going to stretch. And behind. While you're doing this, try to remember don't round your lower back. Keep it straight like this. Okay? If you want a bigger, uh, deeper stretch, you can push with your head, your elbow away so you feel it a bit more. And switch. And behind. And breathe out, round your back. And stretch to the one side. And to the other. Breathe in, and in this position, also, it's important, your back is straight, pull your shoulder blades together, your shoulders away from your ears. It's not a resting position, you are working hard here, trying to keep your back straight, shoulders, shoulder blades, and breathe out, round your back. And breathe in. Okay, round your head. If it's not comfortable to do a full circle, do it just through the front. Also, you don't have to push your head away when you do the full circle. You can do it lightly. 
as long as you feel comfortable doing this and we're switching. Stretch a bit here, lean forward, and back. Okay. Two palms like this, and we go on our bones and back. Keep moving one by one. And open up your fingers, palms to the floor. Open up, circle, back, and fully to the floor. And the other one, circle, back, in the floor, switch. And one more. Shake a bit. Okay, let's warm up our legs. We go to the down dog position. Lift our feet up. Try not to open your hip. Close your hip here. Yes, tuck your knee here and switch your weight to the front. Yes, so your knee goes to your nose and push your foot closer to your butt and bring it up and again switch weight up switch up and step between your hands move here Good. And 
breathe out. Keep it moving. Line between your hands, tuck in, and the feet goes up and down. Lift the other one, knee tuck, and breathe up, up. Tuck in, set, and move. Between your leg, between your hands, tap in, and the leg goes up and down. Now lift your right leg, open up your hip, bend your knee, your foot is flexed, and push a little to the back. Breathe out, dog. 
And again, yoga push up, going through, breathe in and stretch. Breathe out, and one more time, plank, chaturanga, hold, duck, lift, breathe out. Good, and walk to your hands. Stretch, bend, roll your back, release your neck and shoulders, roll up. Good. And a bit with our hips. We go to this position. Open up your knees, work with your glutes. Open them then wider. Push with your elbows. And you can go from one side to the other. Switching the weight. Yes. And the next one is really important to you, for you to keep your hands in front of you. You close your knee, open up, close, open up, and three, four, breathe, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, and standing straddle position. Open up your feet, your back is straight. If you can, try to open up your chest and push your weight a bit backwards so you feel a greater stretch in your hands. Breathe. Your left hand goes to your right foot. Open up your shoulder. Look up. Switch. And stretch your shoulders. Release. Hands get wide, bend your knees, release your neck and shoulders. That was about it, today's warm up. It was quite fast, but I really hope that you are warm, that you are ready to work. So today we're going to start with uh, the last spin in our last workout, what we did. And this spin now is going to go into a bit longer combination. So we're going to break it down step by step, but first I will show you the whole combination, and then we're going to go through all the details to make it happen. So I hope in the first video you learned this spin. So we're not going to go through the spin again. We're just going to change a little detail. When you do the spin, re-gripping, knee hook, push forward, twisted grip, then you have to change to the other knee. So re-gripping, hook, switch, and the other knee. As you can see here, the other foot is helping me. So you should feel free to use it. It will help you to hold, to regrip. So we're going to do this one more time and then we're moving on. Regrip, knee, switch, knee. And you should stay here. So in the next one, you should finish in this position. The inside arm is up and the outside arm is pushing you away. Like in every spin we do almost. So here to learn the next one, 
you have to understand the moment. You go, you're following your outside arm. And the arm goes straight behind your back. Then your legs are following your outside arm. So the easy version for this would probably be if you climb here, rotate, push, and sit. How to do the push? Well, of course it's good if you can hold yourself here. If not, you can try to do this several times so you can feel a bit safer when you are regrouping. But you, are, you don't have to stay here for a long time. Here you have your knee and your foot helping you. Then you have your both hands helping you and also your knee. So the main thing you have to push a bit forward here and try to make this position happen especially if your shoulders are not that flexible because if you're going to have a straight position it will be really hard for you to sit if you're doing this version so again climb follow your hand Push, sit. So you can try this together with a spin. Regripping, knee, switch, knee. Following your hand, push, sit. Yes? So if you want to maybe check how flexible your shoulder is, you can go in this position in front, lean forward, but make sure that the pole is not on your ribs. The pole is a bit higher than your hip bone, so it should have, you shouldn't feel pain. So you're here and here. This is the position you have to go. So your butt has to stick out. Especially when you're doing this here. So when you manage doing the sitting part, we can try to make it a bit more dynamic. For example, you're here and you're going to your sitting position. How do we go back to our invert after this? That's a good question. So, it's really important that your legs make this movement to switch. So on the floor, if you try, you have to be in this position before you go to your inward. The upper hand's leg goes in front and that is the leg that is pushing you away afterwards. And this one goes closer to the other one. So they're kind of connecting. And when they're connecting, you have to do the turn. So they go here and turn. So this may seem difficult at first, but actually it's not that hard. You just have to work a little bit to feel the motion in it. So just open up your legs more here. You go here, open up, and here you're in your inward position. Another thing that uh, mostly can cause struggle is that you maybe do the switch but you cannot do the invert because it seems hard. One thing that I like to do is to slide my arm. It's really, really important for me to make it quick and to make it look prettier. So you do the switching here, you open up your legs, turn, and when you're in this position, don't hesitate, 
your upper arm goes here and inward. Slide really quick. And the other thing what I've seen that is when you do the turn, you take this arm too high. So you may see that you have to slide both one, both arms to make the inward happen. Actually, no, this arm has to be low enough. Don't try to grip it too high. It's going to cause you struggle. You're in this position. Legs turn. Hand goes low. Slide inward. So let's try it together with the re-gripping spin. Regrip, hook, stir, knee. And we're going up, sit, up and up, switch, slide, hook. Good. A bit harder it would be to do push forward and then it's the right sides. For right now I'm showing you, you just rotate in. First, this is easier. If you can manage this one, you can try to do it with a push forward. And the other leg helps me to do it. Push forward, hips up, turn, open up, invert, hook. Let's try one more time. Regripping, hook, switch. Knee, push forward, turn, open up legs, putting them together, turn, inward, hook. Okay? Regripping. Knee, push, turn, open up, and hook. So, this is the first part of the combination. Let's go to the second one. When you, when you've accomplished the inward, the last one with the hook. From the floor, you end it up here. Now, push your inside leg away at first. Take your outside hand and grip. Straight arm. Then pull the inside knee here, close to the pole so you can feel the grip, and open up, here. After, all you have to do is your outside leg goes really close to the pole, really close, and re-grip. So here, the main struggle is when you're trying to go through your back to your sitting position. You have to go through the, through the side. So one more time. Invert, grip, straight arm, open up your legs, and your leg goes close to the wall. Re-grip, and sit. So here, the main problem which I've seen is that uh, when you go into your straddle, your leg doesn't touch the pole enough and, it's, and you feel like you have to hold with your arms. But mostly you're holding with your hand. You actually don't need your upper arm that much. Hook. And the inside leg is really close to the pole. And when you open up, I feel really comfortable here, more or less, okay? Now, leg close to the pole, you can feel the grip in your tummy also. Release, re-grip, and sit. Well, this combination isn't that hard, but it takes a lot of power to make it non-stop all the way through. So you can try to do it like the first part, then the other part. Or if you're strong enough, do it all combination from the start till the end. I'll show you again the easy version and then the hard version. 
regrip, hook, turn, switch. Turn to your hand, push, sit, open up, slide your arm, hook. The outside hand goes to the pole, push the inside leg away. When you grip the pole, then the inside leg goes here. Open up, leg goes close to the pole, regrip, sit. Good. And a bit harder version is with the pushing forward. your hand in 90 degree position. Your fingers are open and stick to the floor. The other arm is going to be in your fingertips and push you, pushing you away. And the opposite leg goes here. Open up your knee so you can feel the stretch in your chest muscles. And breathe. Okay. Now we 
We're going to lie on our back. Tuck your knees. And swing your back to the side. was good that you feel good after and if you have some kind of questions or something was uh, not quite well explained feel free to write me I will try to do my best in the next video okay have a good workout have a great day bye